Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 Pets. In the last episode, um, I'm sure as you can tell by this very strange image here, Fiona was for some reason running to- or not running, but she's riding the horse to go compete. I don't know why she's in a dress though. It was- actually I think she- yeah, she went on a date with Philippe was like the guy she's been hooking up with and then while she was on the date her other hookup rags saw and it was like like a oh uh, it was like a, such an uncomfortable moment but also in the last episode aster got another horsey pregnant so they had a little foal or they tried for a foal and very soon that baby will be here but for now we need to go for the broke we're definitely gonna we're get, definitely gonna try here aster for some reason aster was first place the last time we competed and then like i went off him for just a second and for some reason he jumped to third and so we didn't we obviously didn't win but then of course he shoots up right to the top what fiona bell is exhausted fiona should dismount oh <gasps> No, it's because he's so tired. Wait, why did everyone get reset? Um, excuse me. They just got reset. Oh my god, fuck no. No, no, no. I don't take, I don't take, I don't take glitches for an answer. Oh, hell no. Hell no. We are going to compete fair and square. Trigger questioning competition. That's what I fucking thought. Get back on that horse right now. I'm not sure why. Yeah, there's a script error. Fucking script error made my sim lose the competition now i'm pissed off okay enter the beginning beginner competition i don't take no for an answer you guys are going back in you're gonna go for the broke again and we're gonna win this race fair and square fair and square go for the broke go for the broke get ready for the hidden springs derby aster ridden by fiona bell better get in the post because the race starts soon and amazing She's first place. I swear to God, if she jumps to, to third or second, I'm going to be so pissed off. Like, so pissed off. She's staying pretty consistently in first. But then I go off. Watch me go off. I'm not, I'm not even going to risk it. I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to take my hands off the mouse. Going to go on speed three. I'm going to put it on speed one, though. Like, right now. Like, towards the end. Yes. First place, please. First place. Yes! Aster ridden by Fiona Bell has placed first in the Hidden Springs Derby. In addition to prize money, Fiona Bell has received a trophy and the adoration of the crowd. Huzzah! Perfect. Love it. Uh, she got- she wants to win five beginner competitions, which is totally doable. Aster wants to as well, so I'm glad- glad that they are on the same page. Although I'm going to send Aster and Fiona home. Um, I love how the equestrian center looks. Is this Goo Goo? I don't think this is Goo Goo. It's like a skedaddle, right? Oh my god, she wants to go on a date with Rags. You know, she wanted to go on a date with Philippe, and she did. It worked out fine. She actually went before uh, she competed tonight. Kind of had to cut it close, though. It was cutting it close, actually, because we had to compete. But look at this a pretty building during the nighttime. It's actually really gorgeous. I like it a lot. I feel like this is definitely one of the landmarks of... What is this right here? What the hell? Is my game Okay uh game hello are you good why is there like that little glare okay that oh it's still there i think it might just be like a graphical glitch but i definitely want you guys to take a why why is philippe here maybe he came to watch fiona participate or something um but look at this pretty building it's just so gorgeous i don't know it's definitely like a landmark of appaloosa plains people definitely come to appaloosa plains solely for the reason of just competing in the derbies and that sort of thing so I like that a lot. Um, all right, so Hesper is fast freaking asleep. Fiona is about to head on home here, and Aster is also really tired, so I'm gonna send him right back to bed. So I don't think horses, when they're pregnant, I don't think they get any bigger or anything. I think if we were to switch to Google right now, I think it'd just show us a little a uh, moodlet that's saying that she that she's pregnant okay you can dismount him right now i'm still so shook that she is wearing a full-on skirt or sorry dress when she is riding this horse and like competing it was just amazing i love it it's like totally fiona for you that's just how that's just how she rolls she's like a bad bitch and she 
doesn't give a fuck what she's wearing she's gonna still win the race and take your man while she's doing it and that's that she's gonna go to bed and she actually wants to hang out with rags i'm pretty sure like she's actually feeling very apologetic right now because she has all these wishes to do with rags she wants to go on a date with him she wants to hang out with him and ewan and Haley had their first baby together my heart is melting they had a boy named Alicio, which is such a cute name. And of course, Megan and Soleil are still loving one another till the end, guys. They will be together till the freaking end. I'm also surprised, speaking of being together to the end, I'm surprised that Kim Marshall and Philippe, sorry, I could not think. What? They started dating? Okay, so Rags wants to come at us for cheating on him and then he goes out with Hedy Lionheart again love is a curious mistress and when it comes to rags bell's devotion to Chantal riffin clearly it is strong as well i need her more than i need air don't look at her like that Chantal is mine all mine um okay you weirdo and declan is now the father of a new baby girl so both Declan and Christy had yet another baby and they named her Selina, Selina or Sel Selina, Salina, Salina, I think is how you say that. It's kind of a pretty name. I like it. It's very, it's definitely unique and I like that about it. Um, Rags and Hetty are together. I'm just so surprised Rags has the audacity to call Fiona out and yell at Fiona and then he goes and is like, getting with two other girls i feel like he just wants to like have a baby so bad like he is a fam uh not family oriented he has the wants a large family where you have to like raise five uh, babies teenagers and like complete that and i feel like he's really just trying to get that <laughs> jump started as fast as possible and so he's trying all his all his facets all the ways that he could possibly make that or work that out Honestly, I think that's what's just going, what's just what's going on. So today, I think Hesper, well, yeah, Hesper wants to befriend Dave Phillips. If you guys don't remember who Dave Phillips is, you probably do remember. Uh, you're just not drawing the connection. So back, way back in generations, we lived in Lucky Palms and Darren Dreamer had a son via story progression with Pansy Dreamer. Um, and here's, here's Barrett Dreamer. Barrett Dreamer is the product of Darren Dreamer, who's not on the family tree just because of a problem I was having with transferring dead sims over to the family tree via the family tree. It doesn't matter. And Pansy, who actually did end up showing up on the family tree. Um, so Barrett is actually engaged to Dave Phillips, which is an interesting dynamic. I don't think Hesper wants... A piece of Dave, although I cannot completely rule it out. George Bell seems like a good catch, commented Chantrell Riffin. Please, I think she just had a baby when she's a teenager. Please, George, be careful. George, please be careful with Chantrell. Um, you know what? <gasps> this is disgusting. You know what? Yes, Chantrell did just have a baby. And do you guys know who Chantrell just had a baby with? No one other than Henry Bellamore. Two. They had two babies. What? Patrick and Giorgio. Who? Can someone give this kid sex ed, please? Someone needs to give this kid a sex ed lesson. And I can't believe George is trying to go after his cousin's girlfriend. Or no, this would be his nephew. This would be his nephew. Henry would be George's nephew. Oh my god. What is with this town, dude? <laughs> <laughs> people in this town need some freaking boundaries what the hell look at little brian in here how cute is he little lizard little lizard brian okay um he's gonna go out to the gym with with dave just because i just want it to happen right now so we're gonna invite him out although i don't know if he'll want to go out i mean it's seven in the morning and it's also a tuesday so we might have work or something like that i can guarantee his work i can almost put money on it no he's not even interested okay well you know what dude i'm going to the gym without you i'm gonna get freaking ripped without you dave although I'm not gonna lie, when I have, when I have, when I have Hesper, why is that so hard for me to say? When I have Hesper 
go where's her car there i got really scared there i thought her car was just out of the world um okay she's gonna also ask rags on a date although i don't think rags is honestly gonna want anything to do with her because they had a fight the other day because obviously rags caught fiona caught fiona with uh philippe which is just not an optimal situation for any party involved and oh just kidding he totally wants it like i like i said he is taking any route he can to possibly get that potential baby that he is chasing i seriously think rags wants a baby really freaking bad because why else is he like going back out with a girl that he caught i mean kind of cheating they weren't dating they were just romantic interests but still for some reason the game thinks that thinks that that's cheating which is really honestly the weirdest thing ever i love these types of like banners they have such a hometown feel to them it just makes me so freaking happy man i guess i don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about like these sort of these flags too these flags and the banners and just the town feels so like local like you know everyone in town's business which we technically do because we have story progression but still okay guys come on let's hang out um she doesn't really have anything she can sell a pet confess to cheating no do not confess to cheating please do not confess to cheating that's like the last thing i knew now have you heard declan bell had has just had a little baby isn't that the cutest thing oh she's such a proud auntie of her little of her little nephew or niece i think it was a boy right or no it was selena right that was the baby's name yeah selena tanner who has is that bright blonde hair on that baby i think the baby has bright blonde hair yeah friendly easily impressed those are some pretty good traits and danielle oh is danielle wait is danielle a boy or a girl because Dan they have a the boy hair on from the generations it comes to generations is a cast item but i can't tell i think it's i think it's a boy because of the hair in the suit i think that suit is also only available for uh males so i'm not sure though but danielle obviously like traditionally it's a female name so interesting i guess like you could spell daniel danielle danelle or wait is it danelle it's not Danielle, it's Danelle. Danelle. <gasps> Whoa, I just had a my mind freaking blown. My favorite food is sushi. Yes, it is. Well, maybe you should go in the freaking diner and get some food because you guys are starving. Um, Casey Bell and Johnny Johnson had some heated words on the street recently because they are just sugar babies for this one sim in town and it's clearly not working out. He does not want any part of Fiona. He is clearly still mad at her. Damn. Oh, Kim Marshall's here too oh that was awkward she just got rejected for a kiss well okay guys go inside and eat he's still he's still a little bitter about her little I oh my god here is dave dude dave is like showing oh my god here's christy so many sims we know are just showing up to this diner right now just trying to chill or the grocery store they're probably going to the grocery store honestly although she's hungry so she's probably going to the diner i don't see a diner i guess the diner oh the diner i'm so stupid I was like, I don't see a diner, and I'm looking at the grocery store. Meanwhile, there's like a whole ass diner part of this lot over here. <laughs> All right, he's chatting with Dave, who we just saw at the diner, and was clearly not um, was clearly not talking to him on the phone. But I'll just invite Dave over. Hopefully, he'll want to come out. Instead of doing invite over, I'm just gonna do invite out. For some reason, it bothers me. Like I know. When I do invite over and they're on the public law, I know it invites the sim over to the public law, but for some reason it just, like, it kind of makes me paranoid that, uh, that it doesn't show, or doesn't say invite over to current lot or something like that. I don't know why. It just, like, bothers me. All right. So, they are almost done with their meal. I'm trying to kind of have her butter up rags a little bit more uh just because i oh he did not give her a discount because she's publicly shamed right now because she wooed with an occult which is so weird that is a criticism that they give her oh okay dave is now coming over so oh barrett <gasps> barrett barrett i'm your biggest fan barrett so this is actually the father or sorry this is the sim the 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 sperm donor for um all the surrogacy babies we had so if you see henry or those two twins that they just had around town this is the 
man, the myth, the legend himself, the giver of the of the genetics. So anyway, I'll leave him alone right now. Oh, Megan's here too. Oh, he ended the date. Oh my god, and she wants to woohoo with him. Of course, of freaking course. <laughs> <laughs> so he has to go to work soon apparently which makes sense um and yeah he's currently in a relationship with dave who is now heading over to the gym with hesper now hesper wanted to become friends with dave and like i mentioned i don't know if there's anything romantic there i don't know if like he wants to be in the middle of this affair i'm really hoping not because barrett's a really cool guy especially considering that he literally gave his best friend from childhood bridget his sperm to like be her be the donor you know that's just like such a bro move it was really nice actually um is there a race today at 12 i can't believe we were up before before 12 it was actually really shocking no it's at 5 p.m so i hope that uh that the horse doesn't get reset again i think he got reset because he was a little bit too tired to be doing the activity although i i honestly don't know why we got reset like in the middle of a of a race that was really weird uh so i need sorry i need to go i have to work soon so that was all uh, fun i guess it was slightly better why did he end the fucking outing what a weirdo i guess he has work this is why i despise inviting sims out like during the week because it just gets so messed up like why why does that even happen um instead of having her just waste her time i'm going to see if adopt so we can place pet for up, up, up for adoption which i obviously do, do not want to do uh he has way too many skills at this point he's racing level six which is insane but oh my god now she wants to kiss rags she is just feeling rags right now god damn girl get your head out of, out of the gutter and let's adopt a pet all right so i'm thinking a hmm i'm thinking a dog i think a dog or maybe a cat would be really good i don't think i want another horse right now i don't think we have quite enough space for another horse right now oh my god look at this one sandra oh my god so cute well i'm looking at all these cats right now and i don't even have my pet names open because i have lots of pet name suggestions from um one of you lovely people i think your name is casey thank you casey for your for your name suggestions you're giving me a lot of them and i don't think we're gonna get through all of them but it's nice to have them just in case so um miss casey gave me let's see oh my gosh i think we're on are we on b i think we're on a b name right now i don't think c i don't think we have a c name okay so uh boy name suggestions for c and b caleb carson carlisle chase those are boys but what if we have a girl mm, i don't see any c girl names okay i mean i guess i could just take like a unisex name that would that would make sense or tugger Sandra, I like Sandra, although she's aggressive and a piggy, although she's very cute. <gasps> Nova, and he's a kitten, he's adventurous, lazy, and friendly. I like Nova, I think Nova is very cute, and you know what? We're going with Nova. <laughs> God damn it, it doesn't really matter. Although I love white cats, I think they're really cute. So, since we are on C, I think I named Brian, who is the lizard. <laughs> you can kind of see him in the corner here. Um, he was the B name, so we're definitely on C. So, I'm gonna name him, I'm gonna name what was previously Nova. I'm gonna name him Carlisle after <laughs> Carlisle Cullen in Twilight. Um, and also because Miss Casey gave me the name Carlisle and I appreciate it. So thank you for your name suggestions. And Dave got hung up on something. What a, what an asshole. Honestly, what an asshole. She just is so uh, infatuated with rags right now. It's got me scratching my head. Why don't you come over and care for him a little bit? Go and like clean his hooves and stuff. Um, she wants to have two cats, two dogs, horses, lizards, so I don't know if you need them at the same time. I'm pretty sure you have to have them all at the same time. I don't think you can, like, split up when you get them. I think it's gotta be, like, you gotta have them all in your active household. Um, and that's quite a large order. Like, he wants two cats, dogs, birds, lizards, horses, tur turtles, rodents, snakes, butterflies, and beetles. I guess the butterflies and the beetles 
And the snakes? No, I don't think the, I think the snakes you have to put in a terrarium. So, actually, I never thought of this, but can you put multiple, I wonder if you can put multiple, like, animals in the same terrarium. You know what I mean? Like, can I put two snakes in the same terrarium? That's, that's the real question here. Um, and apparently Sully threw a party and didn't even invite his own daughter. I wonder if it's, like, a type of, like, party we're not supposed to know about, if you guys get what I mean there. And, <laughs> possibly, I don't know, he's getting a little old, probably a little senile, too. Uh, I'll let him do his thing, though. He can get do whatever he wants. And where is my cat, Carlisle? Please give him my little cat, Carlisle. I want my little cat. I hate how she can't interact with this horse because there's, like, major freaking routing issues with horses in this game for some reason. Like, after every animation, they always have to move for some reason. I don't understand why. Literally, where is the cat? Is this game okay? Am I ever going to get my cat? That's the real question. I don't think so. I think it's bugs, honestly. Let me see. Call for services. Adopt a pet from shelter. Yeah, that's messed up. That's really messed up. Maybe we should only adopt from, like, our neighbors and stuff like that. Here's Google. Let's see if Google got any bigger. Um, I don't think so. I don't think the horses get bigger. I think that they stay pretty much the same size. This interaction cannot be performed by a pregnant sim uh she isn't pregnant though our sim isn't pregnant i think gugu's pregnant and that's why it's saying pregnant sim horses aren't considered sims though are they or are they wait i never thought of that are horses considered sims <gasps> dun 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 oh she got a rare egg nice these are worth so much money like i'm just gonna have her keep selling them honestly because they are worth way too much money for their own good. Anyway, I'm gonna have, uh, make sure that Aster is in a good mood. He is in a fantastic mood. Before we leave, though, I'll have him go and drink from the trough. Trough. I always fuck up saying that word. I'm sorry. And then I'm probably gonna have him and her, um, Fiona head over to the equestrian center. I could not think of what it was called for a second. And I love this little area back here. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? Just like these little set dressing things. I was like really bored in class one day when I was giving this house a renovation and I was like, ooh, cool interior design objects. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, he's gonna go take a shower at the gym. I feel bad for Hesper because he like really is like a side character in this expansion for this game although i don't like i don't have much for him to do i don't know i guess i could have him go and catch more um like lizards and rabbit not rabbits i meant uh lizards and rodents rodents that's a word i was looking for but even then we don't have the space to house all of them so i would have to wait until we yeah i'm just gonna have to wait until we can complete his wish oh shit i didn't think it'd bring me in cast and i forgot to mute my music i'm gonna go fast though i'm trying to change his saddle oh i hate cast why does it do this why i can't see my horse what the fuck okay i'm just gonna go by what i can see here uh i'm just gonna give him a basic rain let's do a black one and then we'll give him a nice saddle just so it goes with it let's just give him a black saddle or like a darker colored saddle as well uh i like this one actually like the it goes really well with his fur and then we gotta put a what is this oh it's like a rain or something like that i'm sorry i'm like not a horse person so i have no idea what the, what this stuff is but i try my best okay <laughs> all right i'm gonna give him the same black lead and then racing oh the racing stuff has got to be really cool right I mean, I can't fucking see it, so I guess I wouldn't know. But I'm gonna give him a, ra a different racing harness and stuff. I don't like that pink on it. I can change it though, so that's nice. We'll make it white, and then we'll make this part black. Look at that. It looks so sleek. It looks so sleek, guys. I love it. And I'm gonna put, like, this carpet thing. <laughs> what is this called? I don't know. Carpet thing. So that his saddle doesn't rub against his fur and there we go that is aster's brand new racing digs he looks really cute and well not just his racing digs but like you know his entire outfit just got changed okay so he's gonna uh she's gonna mount him now and they are going to head off to the equestrian center so that we can have them go and compete let's see 
yeah, I think that was a pretty good choice of reins and bridle and that sort of shit. I don't know what any of those words mean that I just said. Okay, so we have to wait, actually. You know what? I'm just gonna have them race, or sorry, not race, ride there in the meantime. And they will get there when they can. Actually, I like how you don't have to enter right at 5 p.m. I think that's really nice that it gives you, like, a little bit of leeway in terms of time. Um, oh, he's taking a photo with Megan. Apparently, she's over here. Wait, I'm getting a phone call. Answer your phone. Answer your phone. What if it's Dave Phillips? He's, like, laughing at her. Like, you asshole. This used to be your freaking mother-in-law. How dare you? Or your stepmother. I was debating whether we're caught until fatigued two times. Yeah, we can do that. I was waiting, um to see if I should have Megan teach him how to drive, but evidently I never <laughs> ended up doing that, so oopsie. But basically, Megan was his, his stepmom for like a long, long time, so how he can laugh at her in her face like that, I don't know. I don't know you, sorry, why? Wow, this town has changed Megan, and I don't like it one bit. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. Where does Dave live? I think he lives up here, right? Dave is out at the moment. Well, I'm just gonna have you keep stalking Dave, honestly. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> He's gonna invite him out to go to the restaurant or something. I have my Sims eat out so much. Like, they must... Their wallets just must be giant. Oh my god, my camera. Okay, so we're gonna have them enter a beginner cross-country. Now, I don't have high hopes for this because we unlocked it at level 6 or something. He's at work, for sure. But we unlocked it at level 6 or something and that would mean that it requires pretty high skill in order to enter and look at this we got some other schmuck over here chuck hobby how dare you chuck and we got freebird johnson you know what fuck you chuck i'm gonna win this and i'm gonna take the the crown away from you buddy and my horse is in a great mood right now so oh we can enter an international competition wait what i didn't know that very cool okay they're going inside right now we're gonna get that menu again, that little interface that lets us pick, you know, how we want to do this. Get ready for the Angela Regional. It's time for Aster and my Fiona Bell to show them how it's done. Apparently, Chug doesn't have a very good relationship with his horse because he just got bucked off, I think. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do, should we do take risks or go for broke? I think you might get a higher place or you might fall behind. Maybe we should just do a steady pace because I don't know how this is gonna go. I mean, she's winning right now, but we did this before and it was literally a beginner race and she got overthrown really quickly. So I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it how it is. I'm scared guys, I'm scared. She's, it's looking up though. The ranking hasn't changed the entire game. So I hope it's not, <laughs> I hope it's okay. I'm scared. Uh. Did she just win a cross-country competition? I think she just did. I love this little photo right here. It's really cute of her and Aster with his brand new bridle and saddle on. Very cute. Well, they won first freaking place. Would you look at that? Let's see. Some horses might be content to stay on the ground, but Aster has taken a different path. Becoming a skilled jumper will take a lot of practice on different jumping obstacles and courses. But with dedication in the right ride, Aster could become an equestrian legend. Amazing. I love it. I love it. Okay, so they're going to run on home. And did he gain like a new skill? Oh, he did. He gained a jumping skill. Um, some horses might be- yeah, I already read that. Cool. Asteroid by Fiona Bell has fate placed first in the Angela Regionals. In addition to prize money, which was 500 simoleons, uh, they got a trophy. And I really need to, like, display all these trophies that she's gotten, because she has, like, all of them put in her inventory. And they're really cool. J Black, Cross Country Cup, and then she has two N-A-T-C-R. N-A- THCR championship trophy. What is this of? I don't even I think it's a it's just with a horse, but I don't like how they're they're the same. It ruins my immersion. Why are they the same? Also, the horse has no saddle on again. <sighs> again, it has no saddle on, which would be the most uncomfortable thing in the whole entire world. So alright, is Dave out of work? Like Literally, this is his only prospect in life right now, is just phoning Dave every couple hours and seeing if he's, like, available to hang out with him. Oh my god, that makes me so sad. I'm sorry, Hesper. Your life has, like, not amount- Oh, this bitch is pregnant AF. Alright, one hour. One more hour, and then Dave can come on over and maybe give him a dick appointment 
depending on what he wants but you know who does want to take an appointment is miss fiona bell she for sure does because she wants to woohoo like i like when my sims just tell me what they want and she clearly just wants to get with rags and i am completely consenting in this i love how you can do the heroic pose oh she fed him that was cute oh george aged up congrats george so i'm gonna have to give george a makeover Look at this. Look at this. It's so cool. Oh my god. The heroic pose. She's like, yeehaw. <laughs> I love the relationship between her and Aster. I think they're probably like best friends, right? Yeah, they are best, best, best friends forever. And I like that. Just so wholesome. And look at this. Hesper also came out apparently to come and see her do the really heroic pose over here. That's really cool. I like that a lot, but, um, let's have her the second she gets home. She's a busy gal. She, the second she gets home, she goes right back out and, uh, is going to be going over to rags. So she's definitely going over there under the premise of, oh yeah, I'm definitely here to go see my parents. But then she's just going to go ahead and woohoo in, <laughs> in, um, the shower or something. Although I guess we could go over there and pick him up and then have him come back to the house with us i think that would be a better option because then we can like have him sleep over and that would be the first night actually that fiona would have ever stayed with a guy like i don't think her and uh, philippe ever slept over at each other's houses i don't think so actually that might be a lie i think we did i think she no yeah he definitely came over and like they weren't even rom romantic yet they were like best friends or something and she was like in her bra and underwear and i was like freaking out i was like oh my god girl you aren't even in a relation soleil bell is calling hesper i see soleil bell right here i don't see him on the phone <laughs> uh soleil okay and then i'm gonna have her come over and invite rags over yeah hello rags i'm sorry i'm showing my face here but i'm here to pick you up i'm here to pick you up and bring you over to my house let's see if he wants to come over um, apparently he's hungry right now and I have lots of food in my fridge at my house. So he's like, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come on over, I guess. Anything to get me out of this house where I live with your older brother and your two parents. <laughs> that must be like so awkward, honestly. The fact that she lives, or Rags, who isn't even related to Soleil or Megan, like, still is living with them. I guess, like, not everyone can be as financially sound as Fiona is. Look how close they are in this pickup truck. They are quite close there in the front seat. For some reason, the pickup truck looks a little bit too big compared to, like, how big the Sims are. I don't know why. Why does she want to give Soleil a gift? That's so weird strange strange okay i'm gonna come over to rags we're going to ask him if he wants to stay the night and yeah hesper just go to bed buddy because there is nothing you want to see out here um i think hesper kind of has an idea that rags is probably bad news although oh oh okay ask him friendly if he wants to stay over i don't know you well well he's just still pissed off i hate i hate how even if you're a sim um, or I hate how it gives you that same message. Even if your sim clearly, like, knows the other sim, it's really weird that it just defaults that mes message. I can't speak. Okay. So, guys. Go and give him some flowers. I want you guys to woohoo. Um, I wish they could do it, like, in the kitchen or something. Although, I think I might have them do it on, in that hay, that hay bell in the backyard. We haven't done it in there in a while. He accepted the flowers, so clearly he's over oh no he's not over it. he's pissed off right now he's still pissed off are you serious what this makes no sense i guess it's because he probably still has that betrayed moonlit and whenever they have that betrayed moonlit they are never gonna accept that um the flirt from the sim so yeah oopsie i messed up although i think they if i offered to woohoo with him i think he'd still accept it even though he's like really mad at fiona right now okay you know what i'm gonna have him go they're gonna go and woohoo in this hay belt here i'll test my theory and we'll see if he will still accept the the proposition to woohoo he should he should although he just canceled oh he grabbed her okay yeah that's what i thought <gasps> goo goo are you giving birth goo goo she's running in circles she's like god damn get this damn baby out of me <laughs> um She's excited about life, isn't she? Is she okay? 
I'm really scared that she's just gonna be giving- Oh, Philippe is here. Are you trying to help her give birth or something, Philippe, you sweetheart? Honestly, Philippe is not a sweetheart because he cheated on his whole wife and his daughter. Oh, here they go. They're gonna woohoo. <laughs> I love the music. It's so funny. <laughs> love it. I love it. All right, there you go, Fiona. You had your fun. And I'm gonna have her go inside and have, um, go have some ice cream. That sounds good. You know, a nice 2 a.m. snack of ice cream. And she has had a lot of exercise today, so I think she's earned it. And she got the, uh, rolled in the hay from Woohoo and Haystack Moonlight, which the icon for this Moonlight is so freaking cute. I never ever buy those Haystacks just because I think that they're kind of, if you don't have like a, a farm or something, it really doesn't make too much sense to have it. Like why would I just randomly have a Haystack in the middle of, of my house? I don't know. Um, but if you do, that's really cute. And of course, he just went right back to Fiona's bed. Yeah, I know Rags. Like you tried to pretend that you did not like Fiona, but yeah, that's what I thought. He he was rejecting the flirts left, right, and center, but you know what? At the end of the night, where did he end up? Where did Rags end up? He ended up right in bed with Fiona, so that's what I thought, Rags. That's what I thought. It's all in the prose. Wait, did he write a book? Did Tully write a book? He did. Man, he's just writing a bunch of books, isn't he? All right, cool. Well, I have to think about if Google, if Google has more than one full, I'm, I mean, I want to take at least one of her babies. I want to take one of her and Aster's babies. She should be giving birth, like, probably within this part, I would think. Maybe, like, today. I think today in game, honestly, um, is when she'll give birth, but Oh, now Fiona wants to hang out with Philippe. Jesus, Fiona, you cannot make up your mind, girl. I don't think Fiona even knows what she wants or who she wants, honestly. I just don't. Yeah, I don't think so. Because <laughs> she, like, jumps from one dick to the next. Oh, Philippe just got reset. Okay, well, I hate when it resets Sims in my household, but I actually really appreciate when the game, like, reset sims that are just randomly in the town um he wants to get a rodent see i don't think i want to do any of these catching like rodents or anything or lizards because we don't have the space to house like a terrarium or like a cage for them although i think it'd be really cute if we came in the house and there was like a little bird right here the birds are probably the most developed uh of like the collectible animals if you guys know what i mean um you can like teach them how to talk i think and they can speak with you and you can play with them and you can actually leave their cage open and it'll have them like roam around the house it's really freaking cool i like it a lot so we'll just have to explore that when we get a much bigger place because this house is way too small which makes me sad because like, I just built this house and I spent so long renovating it. Like, at least four hours. Look at this cuddling in here. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I love how they just autonomously cuddle. It's like the most wholesome thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. And damn, Aster's in a good mood right now. Aster, how about you go check on your baby mama, dude? Where is she? Oh, here she is. Hey, Goo Goo, how you doing? I don't think she has, like, a bigger stomach or anything. I think she's just... They just are pregnant, and you can't even tell that they're pregnant. I don't think they get fatter or... Oh, Gugu just got reset. I hope she still is pregnant. Please still be pregnant, Gugu. Please, girl. Let me see. I can actually see. Yeah, ask to join. And it says that this action cannot be performed by a pregnant sim. <gasps> get out of the road, Goo Goo. You're about to get hit by a car. In specific, your own owner's car. Horseplay. What the fuck is horseplay? <laughs> is that like foreplay but for horses? Uh, now nah, I'm confused. Okay, can you get out of the backyard, please? And I want you to hang out with your baby mama. Like, she's about to have your whole ass horse baby. And you're just chilling over here. Pretending like she don't exist. <laughs> Oh, he's like, he's like, uh, what is that called when they yell like that? I don't know what, what that's called. When horses yell. <laughs> Horse yelling. There we go. That'll do it. Um, okay. So, let's invite over Dave, Mr. Phillips. Let's see. And we're just gonna have so many house guests coming over right now. Like, he's gonna invite over Dave Phillips. Obviously, we have Rags over here. 
and Aster's hanging out with his baby mama very unsuccessfully though for some reason did you guys see that the shadows of them loaded in before they loaded in that was so weird groom her she can't reach herself because she's preggers af right now and yeah she's definitely pregnant because there's no try for a baby option or anything like that i wonder if philip has any particular opinion about um oh my god i thought that someone mr phillips mr dave phillips is about to hit my freaking horse i was like oh my god get out of the street guys but now nah, they're on the sidewalk it's okay i was gonna say though i wonder if philip has any particular opinion on his horse getting pregnant by fiona's horse you know what i mean like oh is he being rude he just made the bed how is that being rude i hate when that happens like why are you pissed off he literally just made the bed relax okay relax um all right so they want to become friends now i'm just gonna do funny interactions because like it's the relationship up the fastest i think there's this potion that comes with supernatural it's called the instant friend potion and it is honestly the best thing since freaking sliced bread because it is amazing because i just instantly make friends like my sims wishes get completed so easily that i honestly whenever i go to the alchemy shop in the supernatural world what is that place called moonlight falls or something i uh stock up on them because i think that they're just freaking amazing why is calvin riffin so bugged is he okay reset sim calvin riffin i hope he's like not lagging this sh my game to shit air trap recorded he had seven resets that's weird complain about soreness um get to know and i want i actually do want him to consider his attractiveness just so i know where his mind is you know what i mean like i need to know if there is anything there i need to know if they just want to be friends which they're actually about to do although i guess he doesn't have to work today because he would have been <gasps> oh my god they had their baby diamond <gasps> oh oh what the hell <laughs> okay um <laughs> this may be the ugliest horse i've ever seen in my life now Okay, this horse needs to be taken in cast because what I think happened is that it took the spots from Gugu and gave them to the foal. But obviously, it's like a very unrealistic type of pattern. This is like the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Okay, well, I guess this is a pretty cool way to introduce you guys to... Um, the tools that are actually for the horses so as you can see here a future champion is born with the addition of the new foal to the martial household mother and father gugu and aster are doing fine and appear quite relieved so i think yeah it definitely gave the baby the fur pattern of his mom or like the you know see, you see the dots basically what is wrong with this horse's eye creepy af um i was just gonna i was just gonna change the color it does look really unnatural so i kind of wanted to change it to like a white color possibly if it wants to change there we go so i'm just gonna change all of the spots to just white okay that looks even weirder why did i do that i think it should be mm, maybe like turn the opacity down or something yeah because obviously this is like relatively unrealistic that a horse would actually have uh, like those type of spots when it's fur color is this blackish color, but I think that looks a lot better Looks a lot more tasteful and uh, clearly very realistic or more not very realistic But like definitely more realistic than what it was before. Okay. How do I get out of here? I literally never use this tool basic mode. There we go. I Never freaking use this tool. What is this unicorn? Oh, we're definitely gonna want to get a unicorn. You know what? I think we're gonna save that second slot in our household for the horse uh for a unicorn actually because they're so amazing and they're like really freaking overpowered so instead of taking this foal which to be honest with you is kind of ugly <laughs> but it is the child of astro and gugu and i'm glad i got to show you guys like horse birth although i guess our horse never really ended up giving birth so i'm hoping that the unicorn that we potentially get in the future this looks so much better like so much better 
that I changed the uh, false color. Look at him! Oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> This is so cute. Oh, Goo Goo, you proud mom. How adorable. Um, well, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. Uh, speaking of which, I need to write down the fact that I need to give George a makeover. So let me write down George here. And I think there was someone else that needed a makeover as well, but I just, I can't remember right now. Oh, Philippe, right? Oh, Rags can see Fiona is creeped out. What? What is happening over here? Talk about gardening. He doesn't give a shit. I doubt he gives a shit. Are these guys friends yet? What is going on? Um, so I'm going to save the full birth for when we finally get a unicorn in the future. Which, speaking of unicorns, I think there is a lifetime reward actually that got added with the Sims Street Pets that lets you be like best friends with a unicorn or something oh i don't remember i probably sound like a psychopath if you don't know what i'm talking about but for some reason i have this idea in the back of my head that animal expert no i can't remember you know what i don't think there's anything like that i think you know what i think it is so unicorns they show on the map they have like this glowing orb they don't show up every night i don't think oh my gosh she wants a woohoo with rags again are you serious okay go in the shower go do your go do the deed in the shower oh apparently he got over uh his anger at fiona because he's like reciprocating her flirts now so that's nice anyway they're gonna woohoo in the shower um in the next episode we will be on the hunt for a unicorn because i really am excited to show you all the aspects of this game because it is so amazing and i love it so much so i will catch you guys all in the next episode um tell me if you think that the new full aster had diamond apparently diamond marshall is ugly uh yeah he's kind of ugly i won't even lie his hair is kind of clipping with his head and his eyes like are so soulless oh yeah, have fun, guys. Just go and woohoo without me. It's fine. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, like I mentioned, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate you all being here. I will catch you all in the next episode. She improved her combat Sintra skill. And peace out.